I'm aware of um, the dams affecting uh, Cyrus's tomb and also the humidity levels have been increased particularly around the, the Jamshid area of Persopolis and apparently it's affecting the moss growth and other, other type of growth on these um, ancient stones. So I think there are some issues. I'm not, I didn't see it with my own eyes but apparently it's affecting the fundamental structures. I think before Ahmadinejad's government uh, during Khatami and uh, when Muhajirani was uh, in charge of the, uh, uh, the, the cultural ministry, I think they, they had a lot more power than they do now. So they were a lot more effective in preserving those sites and registering them. I know that there are many people within this, this specific organization, Miyasa Farangi in Iran, who are active in preserving those sites. But you have to consider that within the framework of Iranian government, Things are not always the same way. But these guys, they have been pushing their way, but there are others, and for example, Ministry of Energy and so on, who have other issues. They put their own agendas first. They made in the Zaratustra Museum in Kerman, they really um, advertise for them. The majority of people, Iranian people going to Kerman, one of the place they are visiting is the um, Museum of Zaratustra. Two years ago, I went to Persepolis, and uh, it was okay. I mean, they were they had taken care of some of it. It wasn't perfect, but it was better than I, I, I was thinking. Considering that uh, a lot of objects that existed in, in the Museum of uh, Ancient History in Tehran that disappeared, and a lot of other objects that show up at uh, auctions elsewhere <clears throat> in the world that I have heard about. I think it's not it's safer at, the, at this moment for them to be kept at museums around the world. I think they should stay where they are because the world probably can't enjoy them.